When I say Sen is always right, I say that because 90% of the time, I am right for telling the truth and calling it how it is. I don't cape the peer pressure, I don't have any real affiliations, close ties, that I have to go to bat for other people. Like, you know, people go to bat for John Swan or have gone to John Swan and then they end up looking like idiots. I've memed about being on John Swan's side like one time and people took it super serial. That's not my fault, that's their fault. But the point of the matter is, I'm usually always right 90% of the time. The 10% I'm not, it's because I'm, I guess, uninformed. Like, you can't predict everything, right? You don't have super hindsight powers or whatever. So there's the 10%, but 90% of the time, right, because I'm always telling the truth because it's easier, one. And two, if, if nothing else, I'm too lazy. So that being the case, when I said that Maximilian Muss was back, I said it because he showed up. Yes, he literally showed up in my live stream the other day while I was gaming with my boys. So I posted the screenshot of when Max's channel came back up on the tubes and I posted it on my community post. And you know, the usual detractors, the send haters, you know, the people that want to make shit up about me, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Those special, special people, they were like, oh, this is fake, ho oh. ho. And then Max put out a video like, what, five hours ago or something. And here it is, it's out there. Uh, here's a little bit of it. Uh 27 seconds in Critical's video, he shows this screenshot, but for some reason he fails to show these images or these. And you might be wondering, what the hell is this? Well, I'm going to explain. When I was messing with Weast, I had the idea of sending him fake images because I wanted him to use it in a video so that afterwards I could be like, oh my god, they're fake. You're so stupid for falling for it. And it was going kind of well, but eventually he got boring and I decided to let him know that it was fake pretty much by doing this. I started spamming him and a bunch of shit. Anyways, point being, Weast knows that this image is fake. And there's only one person in the planet who could have given Critical that image. And that's Weast. Now, this means two things. Option one, Critical knows it's not real and decided to use it anyways. Or option two, Critical was lied to by Weast into using this fake image. My conclusion on this is even if Critical was lied to by Weast into using this image, he's incredibly reckless for just putting it in a video like it's a fact and a real image and like that actually happened. Now about all the rating, you can pause the video and read this, but I can sum it up. Pretty much a lot of it is true, but the thing is I didn't do it to get people banned. And the, the weird thing people don't seem to understand is if I have thousands of people in a server and I raid, what, what would make more sense if I wanted someone to get banned? To mass report them or to fucking raid them? Like raiding them does not get them banned. It makes zero sense at all. Now with this shit eating thingy. This is what Critical says. He was threatening and having his community threaten to find and kill him if he didn't do everything Max said. So first of all, he says I threatened to find and kill him, which is literally untrue. And he's talking about the video, which implies that he has seen the video. So what do we have so far? Pretty much he confirms he's seen the video and that I threatened and forced him and said I was going to kill him and yada yada yada. The context between the video is that I was in a call with a guy called Britbong and I know he hates this guy called JMAA who I had added so I added him to the call just to piss Britbong off. Then JMA turned his camera on and he was already naked doing weird shit and I'm like eat your own shit and then he pretty much did it. And while he was doing it, I was like, oh my god, you're so awesome. Wow, I'm so impressed. And that's pretty much it. The entire video is online. And I don't understand how he can say I threatened to kill him. There were no threats. There's a huge difference between saying, do this or I kill you versus doing, oh, you should do this. You're awesome. Now, Max actually made a pretty good response. He probably came to the realization that shit was getting too real, right? And he said fuck it i'm gonna go ahead and take this seriously because obviously people are starting to believe all this shit right without even questioning anything right because it's critical and moist critical as quote unquote never had a bad take right so there are many problems with this already there's many problems with critical just outright making a lazy video which was my main complaint about him being really lazy with his video and just not bringing anything substantial to the table. A lot of people want to say, well, the proof is out there. You just need to not be lazy and do the research yourself. No, are you stupid? That's the, the person that makes the video is supposed to show you, right? They're the ones that aren't supposed to be lazy. They're the ones that aren't supposed to take shortcuts, right? That's the thing. And I know people would hold that against me if I ever did that. God, they, they hold it against me all the time. 
I don't care if you think Critical has never had a bad take. I heard the same idiot say the same thing about John Swan, and then he lied to all your faces, and then you look like complete fucking morons. So if John Swan is able to pull a fast one on every one of you idiots, pretty sure Critical can pull a fast one on all of you as well. Probably even easier. Now, before I show you the next part, I just want you to keep everything in mind. He shows the fake image. He says that I threatened and forced to kill this man if he didn't do it. Even with the full video being public, anyone can literally go click it and see that it's not true. He was threatening and having his community threaten to find and kill him. And then he decides to say this. Maximilian himself will tell you the reason he remakes the Discord so many times is because his community shares so much ch that he has to take it down because he worries that he himself will get arrested for it. The only statements I saw him make in the past were that it's just jokes and that's why he's remaking the servers. This is legitimately so bizarre to me because I don't understand if somebody lied to him and he just ran with it in a very reckless way because I do think it's possible for somebody to have lied to him and he was like oh this guy's a scumbag so it has to be true or if he's purposely lying even if he got lied to though the fact that he does this shows no image no screenshot no nothing I used to think oh my god provide proof provide proof but there's literally no proof that he could provide because this is never, I've never said that. And this was the biggest problem I had with Critical's uh, video as well. One of the biggest claims that Critical made that he just couldn't back up, that he couldn't back up so much and he couldn't be bothered to show one claim, which I don't believe, by the way. Uh, I'll tell you why I don't believe it in a second. But he couldn't be bothered to show this. He couldn't be bothered to show the claim that Max says that he supports CP. That's what Critical said. Critical said that. Now, there are a lot of things wrong with this. One, Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers didn't sign off on that. The reason he didn't sign off on that is probably because he even knew Charlie was full of shit when he said that. Otherwise, he would not hesitate to go ahead and sign off on those claims. But because he probably deep down inside knows Charlie is full of shit, he didn't do it, right? Now, I don't believe Tom ever signed off on those claims either on his video from a year ago. And that's right, Tom made a video a year ago that Moist Critical used as proof that, you know, Max was, I guess, a bad person. I mean, let's be real, the biggest thing you got out of Critical's video is that Max is a P3DO, really, and I think that's pretty fucking shitty, because Critical just implies it the entire time. He never goes out and outright says it. I hate when people tiptoe around that shit. It's very bitch made of somebody to go ahead and imply something because they're too fucking scared to take the repercussions. So Critical would rather his fan base essentially do the dirty work by implying things, implying that Max supports CP, implying that Max has said this multiple times. Implied that Max deletes his Discord servers because there's so much CP being posted. I mean, that's what Critical said, word for word. But here's the problem with that, dumbass. If this happens so frequently, how the hell is it all scrubbed off the internet? How is it so hard to find one piece of evidence with Max saying he supports the distribution of CP? ...are no longer there. However, I did find one thread that he overlooked where it does talk about it. Fucking noob, right? Totally. He purged his fucking Reddit and he missed this shit, which proves objectively, without a fucking doubt, that he did this shit. So, so let's read the conversation. Hey, can someone give me the link to his Discord? I left as a joke to my friends. It's a long story, but I don't remember where I found the link in the first place. Please help unsmiley face and, and, and this user says the server has been deleted for a week because i'm pretty sure it was because the gay slur who posted child yeah yesterday a little while after i post does okay okay does that sound like like this individual who is a member of the discord and these people are talking about the discord and everything D does that sound like like they're okay with that does that sound, or does it sound like some 
person who they are using a derogatory term for shared illegal images in the server and it had to be deleted, right? That's like saying Britbong or Superhound went into fucking Boblox's server, started spamming a bunch of illegal CP, and then it's Boblox's fucking fault and then he was totally fucking okay with it. Right? 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 Now, we can all agree that would be a fucking stupid-ass fucking hot take, okay? But remember, this is Moist Critical, right? Certified fucking YouTuber with the best fucking hot takes out there, right? Right? Best fucking takes, right? Trust him, bro. Trust me, bro. There's this million-sub YouTuber, nobody archived any of his shit where he totally says he's okay with this crap, right? It's all been purged and deleted. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Why is it so hard, Critical, when you literally said this happens so frequently, right? You did say that. You did say it happens very frequently. Yet you're not able to at least get one archive, right? That's weird. Because when somebody puts something out there on the internet, even if you delete your tweets, they're still safe. Like, there's a bunch of stuff Augie RFC has said that people have archived, right? There's a bunch of stuff, you know... Who else? Any of the commentary mafia really have said, but you know, that their tweets have either been deleted and they're still archived. You know, Tipster has a bunch of shit that he deletes all the time. And that, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, those uh, smaller people archive their shit all the time, right? And Tipster's not even a fucking threat, right? Tipster, by comparison to Max, is not a shitty person. So I would think that if Max is so problematic and such a shitty person... Wouldn't there be more archives of him? I mean, Kiwi Farms also exist for a fucking reason. You know, regardless of how you feel about them, right? Regardless of the narrative they want to spin there. It's still, you know, they still archive shit, right? <laughs> Majority of Critical's fans, literally all they did, they never refuted at any point. They never wanted Critical to provide proof that Max said he supported CP. They never wanted that, right? Even one of the people even said, nobody cares if Charlie's lying, Max is bad person. And that brings me to my other point. And uh, a, another problematic thing is that Max is known to be a troll. Now, the troll effect, it can be used to your benefit in that you can meme off certain things and be like, I'm just trolling, right? So if you have an outrageous freaking take, right? You can just say you're trolling and people take it as a joke. However, when it comes to legitimate accusations, things of that nature, heavy allegations. It becomes a little difficult when you have the whole troll thing because, you know, if everything a troll says is a joke, you're just supposed to, you know, just shrug off, how can you take them seriously? That's why a lot of people, if you've noticed, I don't know if you've noticed, uh, but a lot of people call others trolls just to dismiss anything they'll say from here on out. It's a common tactic that many people use. Uh, it is what it is. It's used. But if we labeled Max as a troll, then that means it's just a way of saying don't take this guy seriously when he makes a serious apology or a serious uh, statement on the matter, right? We've already, and, and we're not even getting into the fact that people already hate Max. And when you hate somebody, it doesn't, you don't even care to hear what they have to say. Like the majority of people don't even care to hear what they have to say. Right, that's a, that's a freaking objective fact. That's just how the majority of people operate, right? Like, I will still hear out a shitty person, right? I won't gullibly believe them, but I'll hear them out. Uh, <laughs> because why not, you know? I, I guess I'm just good at putting the emotions to the side. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people work in this sheep mindset, and it's very, it's very evident in Critical's fan base. So, it's a shame... Uh, Max had a good reply. Now, the second half of Max's video, he actually highlights a lot of the things my friend uh, Crow Judgment actually said. My boy Crow said in his video, which Crow had a similar take, and we share the same uh, thoughts when it comes to this, actually. And it's, you know, Moist Critical's video is shit, basically, right? And Crow points it out, I point it out, right? We're just saying, you know, if... There's so many instances of Max deleting his Discord because of CP. And there's so many instances of all this, you know, CP taking place in front of Max and around Max. Why are there no archives? Critical.
Why? Why? Or, you know, and why? Why can't you be bothered to show one little? <laughs> why can't you be bothered to show one little bit of proof that has Max's name saying, "Oh, uh, I support CP." Why? Why can't you just do that? It's because it's probably not existent. It's probably not existent, right? That's that's the thing because nobody, nothing, nothing riles up a crowd more than hunting down a p3do that's the thing right critical and i'm pretty sure you know that and it's it's very convenient that you only decided to do this when he decided to fuck with you right you were fine letting a you know what what you incited he was what you implied max was a p3do you were fine with that wandering around so don't give us this morality bullshit you you are not a good person critical you're not morally above anybody stop pretending like you are i know your circus clowns of diehard fans will continue to pretend like you're a good person but get this through your head Critical would have never made the video about this, you know, from what he's implying, Predator, if it wasn't for that person fucking with him. That's not what a good person would do, you fucking morons. But, you know, you could keep pretending and lying and, you know, you could keep lying and pretending that, that it is. You know, warp your reality. A lot of the lefties already do it. And again, judging by Critical's fan base. I'd say the large majority of that fan base is lefties. Go figure. Would have never seen that coming. Holy crap. And uh, one final thing. This is, this is the funniest thing. So Max made a, I guess, Discord message or something where he says, Well, Critical called me a pedophile. He's not wrong, but he has no proof. And I love how people want to take that as admission. Right? I love how people are selective when they want to take Max seriously. Right, So when Max makes a serious response and he says, okay, here's the breakdown of all this shit, nobody wants to take him fucking seriously. But when he does an obvious fucking troll meme, like you know how Bo Blacks put all those fucking police cars when Rev says Desu made that one joke about the fucking, you know, shark chick, which was creepy as fuck, but still... Even even everybody knew it was a joke. Bo Black said it was a joke that he didn't mean anything by it. But you know what? He did it, right? And we were okay. I mean, I'm okay with Bo Blacks, right? I, <laughs> so, so you know, I didn't condemn Bo Blacks for that. So why should we condemn Max for making that kind of risque joke, right? I mean, you know what? I love how people took that as an admission of guilt. You know, as a legitimate statement. It's like people are... It's so fucking obviously sneaky, disingenuous, dishonest, right? And it's a damn shame that I'm a, a fucking nobody. It is a damn shame. Because if I had Critical, I would absolutely destroy him, you know? And again, if I, was, if I was good enough, if I was socially good enough, right? In the, in, if I was high enough in the social hierarchy, right? To challenge Critical, if I was a big creator, I don't give a shit, how much money I'd be making, bro. I don't give a shit how many fucking bridges I'd burn with anybody. Even even people I'm cool with now. I don't care. As long as I got to chew Critical out. As long as I made Critical look like a complete ass. I would not mind at all. Don't be surprised if somewhere down the line. Moist Critical. Charlie. Critical. Penguin Z. Whatever you want to call him ends up pulling a John Swan on you. Here, absolute liar, okay? Because you're pulling shit from a video that's over a year old, okay? And you're doing this because he just raided your stream. He just raided you. He's been attacking your Discord. That's why you're doing it. It's okay to admit to that. Nobody takes issue if you're under attack that you defend yourself. I certainly don't, but don't make this, well, I, I'm doing this because nobody knows what a terrible, no, you're doing it because he raided you and you're pissy and ass mad.